Morning, girls. How are we doing? We are back with Chantal Marie. Food is beauty, beauty is the reverse of the merims of whatever the hell. It is, it is, it is, it is, it's over and done. Why did I say it is to start with? And I just kind of got stuck in a cycle there. It's over and done. And I first want to draw attention because obviously I skipped through the cameo and all. And then there was obviously a picture of her cat because she hates her cat and she wants us all to know that she hates her cat and doesn't brush it. And she then did that. You know that thing she did? ages ago she seems to do it every once in a while where she plays something from like far into the video remember like in the last one was when she was getting ready to go to, back to canada she like used to play a clip where she goes like i just i don't know what i'm gonna do and then she looks off sadly into the distance and then like an hour and a half later once you got through like 42 ad breaks you finally get to that sequence and it's her being should i have pineapple or pomegranates i don't know what to do it's always something like that it's always nonsense but it's her trying desperately to collect me so i'll skip that as well and i just want to draw attention to this face which i'm just i'm saying in my professional opinion it's very symmetrical now if we get for example a spud we're gonna move him up here so like that's 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 i don't know we're gonna go for to that ear so we're gonna move across there and okay well, that's certainly I'm, I'm gonna say it doesn't seem based on the spud bud scale it doesn't seem like a very symmetrical face whatsoever. Thanks, Spud, but you helped a lot there. Um, yeah, she's kind of a bit lopsided. I'm going to say that as politely as humanly possible. Her nose is also somewhat bent. I'm not sure if it is purely just the filters trying desperately to, like, fix her. <laughs> I can fix her. I can fix her, boys. Um, but it's, like, warped her fucking nose even. It's, like, curved upwards. And I don't want to make a pig joke, but I feel it's sitting there for me. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. So this is a talking video and there's not going to be any editing. She sounds like she's quieter than she is. I don't know why. Also, you never edit your videos, so... Uh, <laughs> this is a talking video, so I'm not going to edit. You literally don't. Because I'm lazy, which I means like you're going to have to put up with the nose scratches and stuff. So. Which we see in every single one of your videos, including you, like, I don't know, probably sniffing the yeast from under your flaps. Uh, this is, like, the same outfit the suitcase is sitting in the same spot like isn't it because like there's been a couple of like mukbangs there's been one before this which i went and i had a look through and i skipped i skipped about 20 seconds at a time and i went through the entire video and there were only two places out of all of those skips where i landed on her saying a word and it was <laughs> crunchy and then the next one was they add sweetness it was that i was like oh it's just another one of those mukbangs where she doesn't say anything and she just talks about food the entire time, which is all of 20 words she says throughout the entire thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to skip it. Somehow I'm instantly four videos behind again because she's pumping out these every single day. So especially wearing this exact outfit in half of them, which makes me think it is the same day because the pillows are sitting in the same spot. The curtain's sitting out the same way. The um, luggage is sitting in exactly the same spot. In my opinion, I think she probably is on a visa run. That is my guess. Because last time she did, the, well, she did the live stream one day ago. So I guess she didn't. I have no idea. Like, I'm assuming she like binged and she ate like four people's worth of food throughout the day and she just made them all individual videos. Usually she does that when she's on uh, a visa run, when she's trying to do a sneaky visa run behind the scenes. But because she did a live stream the other day, who knows? Sorry. Let's go. So, um, I thought I would just do a talking video. I'm not oh. eating in this video because I'm... Because uh, <laughs> I'm blankly stare at the screen. Now imagine having to justify why you're not, not, not being a 450, 500 pound death fat who eats way too much rice, who literally a week ago was doing a storyline where you were in bed dying of your super diabetes. But weirdly, you don't you don't want to justify why you eat on screen, but now you're justifying why you aren't eating on screen. Talking a lot and because I'm full from supper still, so. Yeah, okay, sure. Um, why like to be the second part? I just wanted to, to kind of, I guess, answer in an official video some okay. of your like questions about why I'm choosing to do mukbangs, yada, yada, yada. And Doesn't everyone know? Isn't it just like the same shit we've heard like so many times because we've done the cycle like so, so many times because you're broke? Like you're, you're broke and that's it. Because I don't know, I guess after she did the rage at FFG, she sat down and looked at the 50 bucks or whatever she made in Super Chats, some of which were from troll, you know, messages. And then she looked at FFG who made a grand and she's like, oh, well, I'm going to avoid the drama now because I don't want to just keep giving people who hate me money. And I don't want to address this during mukbangs. I just want mukbangs to be enjoying food and having fun and just wow. lighthearted. Where's the fun? Lighthearted light what? 
Though you're certainly not lighthearted. You're fucking your heart's very heavy, I'm sure. Where is the lighthearted fun in mukbangs? It's just eating and going. So, um uh, do you like nuggets? Um do you, uh do you uh do you like this pep uh water? Do you like this uh water that I'm drinking here, guys? Where's the fun what's fun about it? Content where I don't have to Did she fart? What the fuck was that? She get lighthearted con content where I don't have to the face she pulls after she farts. I, I, it was a bit, it was a bit of a farty noise. It was like, you know, like a qu very quick. It's like super condensed, you know? It's like if there's not much room in the butt cheeks and it's like under pressure coming out. It's like bubbling out of the one gap it was able to finally find after going through like a full foot of ass to get out of there. It sounds like a high pressure fart give anything of myself like okay. share anything that you know i just I, like she had to hear that right like if chantelle you should probably be sad that you're so boring that unironically i'd rather like diagnose if that was a fart or not i would rather really go in depth here and, and, and that woman from that that gif or all the numbers are floating around her head i'm just considering like the, the the logistics of that fart and I have no idea what you're saying anymore. I've changed a lot. I know people refuse to believe that you and haven't. are looking for all kinds of evidence. And, you know, they don't need to look for it if they find it. Like when, when people can point at you and say you haven't changed, they don't need to find evidence as to why you haven't changed. The fact that you had a meltdown like two days before this kind of shows you haven't changed. Just trying to counter that. But, um, but you're trying to I have it. changed a lot. In what way? Mindset wise with certain things. In what way? Something <laughs> I've changed so much, guys, in like, you know, Things and stuff and, you know, you know, stuff like that. If you've changed, you would be able to say, I remember when this used to happen to me, I would act like this. However, I don't act like this anymore. And I've been able to demonstrate that. That's how you show you've changed. Her in the other hand, she's like, I've just like, you know, changed. Yeah. And you're all like liars who are like haters and jealous of me because you think that I haven't changed. Even though that is something she would say as someone who hasn't changed. Things remain the same. Some things I'm still working on. But in the, you specifics? know, I, can, I think it's safe to say after about almost two years of being different than what you're used to. What? Like, so she thinks literally the second she put the hijab on, which isn't even two years. It's a year and a half because it was like November, wasn't it? So it was just just over like a year and a half. She thinks the second she put the hijab on, suddenly she was like, ah, I just like, floated off into the heavens and was literally a different person. Despite all the meltdowns, despite all the, the, the going back to cannabis, the second she goes back, the fact that putting on an extra hundred pounds, all that stuff. No, guys, literally the second she put the hijab on, that she changed. It's not even two years because times work differently with a hijab on, I guess. Like, since she has changed. Different foodie beauty that the, this. Imagine referring to yourself as your screen name, especially when everyone knows her name. Like, everyone knows she's Chantel, you know? Imagine, like, out of all of this being like, I'm a different foodie beauty. It's like you're really going for, like, the, this is my legacy. Chantel, she doesn't exist because she's not famous foodie beauty. She's the famous influencer, guys. This is going towards a newer lifestyle. And life changes are not just one day you're different completely, okay? It's you're the one who just said you've been different for two years. <laughs> life changes me. You don't just change overnight, except me, who changed two years ago somehow and i'm totally different ever since that one point you can't have it both ways it's gradual and it's painful and it's hard well what um, are you talking about adapting to a new lifestyle and surely you should be able to give an example um i've had to grieve a lot of things from my old lifestyle sure of course like but it doesn't what? mean that it's what was best for me like what what have you had to grieve like <laughs> she can't give an example of how she's changed and so far she can't give an example of what she's had to leave around like behind and change about herself and a bit light. That's choices that I have the freedom to make in life, and nobody truly knows completely my life, oh my, my circumstances, my the cope, the cope. No one truly knows completely the important words there. Well, you guys don't know literally every nanosecond of my existence, so I'm right and you're wrong. Yeah, but I'm gonna counter raise you that you're a pathological liar who's literally insane. I'm gonna counter raise you that, so I don't care what you think happens in all of, in the hundred percent of your life that you apparently know. I don't think you're even an honest judge of character what is even happening around you. Everything except for me. My feelings, okay? What's in my heart and in my mind. Mold. 
<laughs> mold from the swimming pool, cholesterol, uh, I don't know, cat hair. <laughs> I don't know how it got in there, but probably cat hair as well. Julie's been working on you for a long time. Howie, maybe Howie escaped again and somehow got into one of your folds, ended up inside your heart. I don't know. So, um, and I, I want to protect those things from now on. So what I did like, say in my what? post what things? about, um, excuse me. I want to protect the uh, uh, things. <laughs> Fantastic. I feel like I'm there. She's really explaining this to me. Not wanting to share intimate details of my life. You know, that's so different for you guys. Like and what? I know in a way, and I don't know what else other... Do, can you blink? I don't know, a little bit less? You know, like, honest people generally don't blink a lot. I'm just going to say, it's probably a good idea if you blink a little or a lot a bit less. A term to use, but a lot of you are grieving the old foodie beauty. A lot of you miss that person because you keep going over my past and over... People are laughing at you. Oh, that means you're grieving. I don't think she understands what grieving is. Admittedly, she thinks she grieved for her granny, you know, when she was laughing about her granny dying and, like, seeing her vagina and stuff like that on OnlyFans. You know, she thought that was grieving her granny and her weird warped idea of what reality is. So I guess when, when reaction channels laugh at her, I guess she does think that's grieving because that's her idea of grieving. Over things that... Um, affected me and even though a lot of them don't affect me anymore people still go over she literally brought up Natter immediately after the Salah and Kybella thing and immediately after the uh, FFG rage as well she brings up Natter constantly for them as if it's if it's not even affecting me and these things happen to me it's it's your 500 pounds it clearly is your past is clearly affecting you it's just weird for me that people keep going over a past me that's not there anymore and, and won't it, come back. I but think is people there? But is expect there? in a few months that I'm going to go back to Canada, uh -huh. that I'm going... Yeah, you probably, probably are. You probably are. You'll, you'll make some uh, health excuse of why you have to go back because suddenly Kuwait's entire entire um, hospital system has shut down overnight again, even though like recently you're arguing that it has the best hospitals in the world. But then, you know, two months before that, you're arguing that it literally didn't have any hospitals that could treat you. All that, you're probably just going to do it, but you're going to do it in a way that I have to do this, guys. I don't want to go back to Canada, but I have to, guys, because that's just what you do. We've seen it twice already. I'm not, I'm not going to surprise if this is the third time. To, um go back to that old way i'm going to rip off the hijab and it's just going to be already threatened to. let's get a wheelchair kind of thing does like, she always makes it sound like people want people i think people do want the, the hijab to come off because like i think people just want to laugh at her they want to be able to laugh at her terrible hair and stuff like that i think that is it people really thought the wigs were funny i think that's why people want to see her take the hijab off it's not i don't think it's anything to do with the religion because no one actually thinks she follows the religion anyway so it doesn't fucking mean anything because i think it's probably it's a it'd be like a, like a Pure sign that the Kuwait arc is over once she takes the heat job off. But like hers going, I know everyone wants me to get a wheelchair again. Like, do anyone, does anyone want her to get a wheelchair again? I don't remember people saying the wheelchair. Oh my, that was the best part of the entire Chantel cycle. You know, when she was so high, she was just staring blankly. I'm going, yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anyone thought, oh, that's, that is peak Chantel content. You know, when she's so high, she isn't doing anything, and she's lying there hugging her llama and staring blankly at the camera for hours and hours and hours and hours. I don't think anyone wants that again. Now, I've been to Canada two or three times back and forth because I've been, like I said, these changes of lifestyle. Because like I've said, these uh, visas, I mean, changes of lifestyle. Bro. <laughs> it's, it's so drastic, and... um. But it's, you said you changed fully and have been fully changed for two full years. You're the one who claimed that three minutes ago. It's, it's taken me time through this tug of war to feel like, okay. What tug of war? Um, what tug of war? I've never heard of a tug of war where both sides are pushing. <laughs> her mom's like, no, you fucking take her. So I was like, no, no, you take her. I thought that tug of war you know, works. I to to war. So I thought, you know, going back to Canada, I missed certain things. But then it never happened. I never took... That's not at all what you claimed. You said you went back to Canada for medical reasons. Now she's going to rewrite it. It's like, oh, it was a tug of war because I wasn't sure if I should be staying here. No, no, that's not what you claimed. You said you went back there both times for medical reasons. Not because you weren't sure if you should be staying. Both times were medical reasons. The hijab off. I never reverted back to my old lifestyle. You did. You 100% you, you reverted back to your old lifestyle. You might not have taken the hijab off. You said you were going to at one point, which was really, really funny, by the way. That was right before you pulled out a giant painting of your cats. I was like, oh, my cats are here. Uh, but you did revert back to your old lifestyle. You, you were driving around constantly. You were e eating copious amounts of fast food. You were constantly high. You were having to rush to the A&E because you were so sick. You, lit you reverted back to your old lifestyle, 100%. Like, did you go, like, 
full balls to the wall? Well, no, because you can't anymore because you're broke. So you can't just sit there and order nonstop shite off Amazon and have a new box mountain. And also, you're stuck in your mom's house. You can't misbehave. You're you're a 40 year old stuck in your mom's house, hoping she won't shout at you for live streaming. That's your life, bro, not mine. Um, totally, you know, like um, <laughs> totally, but which is a lot, you I, know. <laughs> I just <laughs> the fucking gears turning in her head as she's like, "Well, that didn't sound good. I have no point here." I end up coming back here, and there's a lot of reasons, and I don't feel like I need to justify that to anybody. And I'm not even gonna literally are. I'm going to explain why I prefer to be here. Uh, see, that one didn't sound like a fart. That one sounded like the chair was breaking underneath her. <laughs> or she leaning on her tiny little mukbang table and she's just flattened it or something like that. I, I mean, I think I've already, I have many times. You haven't. I don't think that people listen. So it's like for me, if I'm going to just be talking. Wow, that is so fucking lame. I could explain to you guys why I have to be here, but uh, I, th I have, I think. Um, so I'm just not going to. No, you haven't. You've actually never explained. Even in all of her live streams, anytime she talks about why she's here, she's like, it's just, you know, it's like the it's like Middle East. And it's, I can't, exp you just have to be, you have to come here if you want to know why I like being here. That is it. She can't explain anything. Like I said, if you said, why did you like going to Rome? Why did you like going to Japan? Why did you like going to Germany? Why did you like going to, you know, China? Anything. If you ask me something like that, I can explain to you specifically why each place I went to. I liked how I felt there, what I felt walking around there, leaning, all that kind of stuff. With Chantel, it's like, what did you like about that? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 it's, it's the it's the vibe. It's like, what's, what's the vibe? Uh, the, the, the vibe. The vibe. It's like, that's a weird way to spell the food. Walking to a brick wall, I'm not going to bother. You know, there's just so many people online that are so determined to misunderstand what I say. <laughs> and... Take what have you said, though? <laughs> Miss Lotus, what I said. You haven't said anything. You just said the vibe over and over again. I thought it was Tourette's. A different meaning of it. And I just, you know what? I'm just going to let people do that. And I'm just going to keep quiet and wow. know what my life Well, we could have 17 more minutes to go of being quiet. Life is like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, okay. Um, I, I never think anyone who knows what their life is like and is happy with their life has to try this hard to convince everyone that they are winning in life. You see, you know, I'm winning and I'm better than all of you. And I, I have to, you have to be to the Middle East and I have to be to the Middle East. I'm, I'm traveling circles around you. Uh, but I don't even, I don't even care what uh, you guys all think. <sighs> she got so upset and triggered by that. She said she actually had to take a deep breath and go quiet and stare off into the distance. There's things I grieve, obviously, about my old life. But again, it doesn't like, mean that what? it's best for me. And, um... I'm still working on issues. Sure, I have a lot. To you know what? People might actually believe you that any of this is real if you could literally name anything. To work on, but that's not going to matter geographically for me. Like uh, wherever I go, there I am. That's true. And, wow, so deep, um, guys. You know, it's just. She really thought that was fucking great. She left. She left a minute there for us all to just absorb that and be like, "Wow, that's deep, bro." I'm not going to be that person anymore. It's over. It's over with that that person you're literally done. that person and right now i'm uh, not going to be going back to that so i you know oh my she has said nothing in six minutes that is impressive i know a lot of people think this newer version of me is boring it's not what you're used to um well it's not you, you are the same person you're just like barely live streaming because you can't live stream because you know you can't keep up the act that's the only reason you're not live streaming because anytime you live stream you drop the act. Also, you just realize that it's just a literal waste of your time. You're not making any money whatsoever. You sit in a box by yourself. It's fucking sad, bro. My audience was mostly people who were, you know, there to watch me be Make completely silly, totally Make TMI. You. Make fun things of you. Things that I would never want to talk about openly now. And things to make fun of you why does she think people were there to like like her <laughs> like you know why does it like oh yeah during like you know, the not oracle everyone was there to see her be silly and tmi guys it's like no they were there to laugh at you and gawk at a fucking 500 pound woman have a massive ass car crash and just keep rolling down the street somehow it's like you see she's like she should be able to stop at some point here the momentum should leave and she just kind of kept fucking rolling things i would never in a million years do and in a way, I'm grieving. What? Anything? I'm, I'm having trouble, like, accepting that. I'm grieving the uh, gr grief of the, the grieved thing that I'm grieving with my gr grief about that which must be grieved. I think I've made myself perfectly clear about how I'm literally a different person now. That I've 
exposed so much of myself in a way, you know, I'm trying uh, to just realize that that's the past yep. and it's done and there's nothing I can do about it. But. Okay. Yeah. So this is literally just like, she might as well just put in like flashing neon lights behind her. Like maybe splash out a little bit, get a bit of set dress in the background of a giant neon sign that says, I'm no, I, I'm upset about Mr. Snowflake's coming documentary because we get this nearly before every single episode has been released so far. One of these big spiels about how she just hopes that people search for her, I guess, after the Snowflake documentary, even though everyone who watches the Snowflake documentary already knows who she is. It's not like it's bringing really new eyes here. Is Desi not four episodes in, you know? Like four episodes in. It, people are watching it. They've watched the first three episodes. They're already well aware of it. So you just appear and go, by the way, guys, uh, 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 that's not me. That was a couple of years ago. So it doesn't count anymore as criticism. Just because you do that doesn't fucking mean anything. Right? But I, there's a lot I wish I didn't share with, with people. or like that your I your vagina? Do. So, but there's a lot of things I don't regret either. So. Like what? Anyway, all this backstory. Say anything. Basically just say that. Literally, say anything. There's stuff I regret and stuff I do not. And there's stuff I grief, and there's stuff I do not, and there's stuff I miss, and there's stuff I do not, and there's stuff that has changed, and there's stuff that has not. It's like, oh my God, say anything. I, you know, I meant what I said in my post. I know I'm not the queen of consistency and you guys expect I'm me to imagine. change my mind and still expect me to go back and live in Canada yeah, and be but different. But after a year and a half, no, I, I do know what, I don't even expect you to go back to Canada and live in Canada or anything like that. I expect that will happen like eventually, but more so I just imagine that you're going to go back on your word about like no personal shit because you're already doing this video, which is personal shit. You know, I already expect you to go back on that. That's what I expect you to go back on. For more than almost two years, I think it's safe to say that that a, that a lot of chapters. But is this seriously like her idea? Because like, you know she is insane. Like she unironically is not even like tee hee funny joke. She is actually fucking nuts. Like, do you think in her head when she says, "I have changed, guys," it's so obvious. Do you think her like one like rule for like trust me, guys, I've changed is if she ever ends up actually living in Canada without a hijab, that is the only way. To like show that she hasn't actually changed. It doesn't matter about everything else. The freak outs, the gaining weight, the diet cycling over and over and over again. It's like if she's that there. It's like, I was really serious, guys. And I know you guys think I'm not going to be consistent with this thing, which was literally just a community tab post saying, I'm not going to talk about my family, TMI stuff, respond to the haters, all that stuff. And so her response is, well, you guys think I won't be consistent. You guys think I will live in Canada again. So that has nothing to do with that community tab post whatsoever so she must think it's like ethan ralph ethan ralph is the, the guy who owns the kill stream he's a massive law guy and his one like rule like I, I am winning as long as i am able to live stream until like my like i am so destitute i can't even afford my internet bill anymore i am literally winning because his bar for for winning is so fucking low and i guess for Chantel, it's exactly the same my bar for winning is i well as long as i don't end up back in canada living there single again quote unquote quote then i technically beat the haters from that era are just done it's over with it's it's gone um just keep saying it. i don't Eventually have to, to go back to a lot of that that a lot of things i just i'm glad are done and i want to see i want to evolve in life and i want to see where things are going to go Exciting. i want to stick to my clap, clap, clap. goals i want to what i want to travel so bad like it's a yearning inside me that you don't understand yeah i would see guys when i yearn to travel what i yearn to do in my travel is to uh get a budget hotel uh near 7-eleven obviously because that's where the cheese toasties are and uh sit in it for weeks and never leave it. That's what I do. That's what I yearn to travel, guy. Imagine being this deep in, like she said, a year and a half deep into the every three months. Like people have like listed in depth uh, like what has happened every single three months to show that she is very clearly on a visa cycle. And she is still being like, huh, they're buying this, right? Right when I say, guys, I love traveling so much. And it's, oh, what have you done recently? Nothing. No, oh, but you traveled, right? Oh yeah, I went back to Canada. It's like that's not that's not traveling. <laughs> that's not tra that's not traveling. And me getting on a bus doesn't mean I traveled somewhere. You're not going on holiday. You're not going out and exploring or anything like that. You went home for for Christmas once, and you went home for your birthday once. That's not traveling. That's not seeing the world and exploring. And um, the chair is fucking struggling, bro. I think it's because you know coming here and being here, living in a different culture. Are you? <laughs> Are you being here? Are you living in a different culture? I want to experience 
a lot of cultures. I want to experience. <laughs> Imagine she's lived in Kuwait for a year and a half, hasn't stepped foot outside that fucking door more than 10 times. I'm living and ingratiated in another culture. I just love culture so much. Name me anything about the culture of Kuwait. You forgot that the Gulf War happened. All that life has to offer. So, but... Um, Remember she went to Thailand and she refused to uh, acknowledge Thai culture? She literally said, I'm a Muslim, so I'm not here to learn about... Um, Buddhist beliefs <laughs> was it wasn't something like that. I'm not also. I'm also so basically for the the. So be, I'm, 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 I guess I'm, it kind of reminds me of a time when my channel was more simple. Like, you know, I had fun doing mukbangs. Um, no, you had fun eating lots of food. You're 500 pounds. You don't need to tell me that bit. That's the unspoken bit. I know. In a lot of ways, I had fun telling you guys stories and stuff too, but. But you haven't told stories, and the, the last three mukbangs have been silent. Uh, Even with an eating disorder, as a human being, struggling so hard. You know, we have to eat food. Also, you're three human beings. Oh, we have to eat food. We're actually back to that part of the cycle, guys. Of oh, guy, he can't expect me to not eat on camera because I starve. And I find whenever I go on diets, whenever I restrict food groups, whenever look, I will let you say that sentence that you'll find when you go on diets when you actually ever actually go on a diet you know i i start to have negative feelings about food and it causes guilt and it just perpetuates wow. the, the binge eating cycle there's a lot you should be guilty for though i don't know maybe you could talk through this not with me a literal potato in a dog suit or your random faceless followers who fucking hit you and want you to eat yourself to death maybe you could talk to i don't know what's that term oh yeah a therapist and with, with the mukbangs lately, I feel like mukbangs? I get to um, kind of have more of a routine. You know, I wake up, I take my meds, sure. you know, I have okay. the healthy drink, I eat whatever the heck I want. I have the healthy drink? What the fuck is the healthy? I have the healthy drink, guys. I have the healthy drink. What the fuck is the healthy drink? For my mukbang, I eat whatever I want. And that that satisfies some a craving in me, you wow. know, as a food addict. Yeah, as a big fat person who's addicted to food, yeah. So your argument is, I give in to my cravings, and that makes me happy. It's like, imagine. In a way. And then... As I, a heroin, a junkie, when I take heroin, I feel really happy. So I let myself do it. It's like, oh, fantastic. You know, can negotiate with myself. Okay, I'm going to have this healthy later. Blah, That's blah, blah. so stupid. I give in to my cravings because I can't control myself. But after I give in my cravings, then I can just control myself entirely afterwards. And it's absolutely fine after that. Bro, you're wearing the same costume you wore for the last... Three fucking mukbangs. And I know a, pe a lot of people are saying, well, you know, you're fooling yourself. It's a slippery slope. Yep, you've yada, done this yada, yada. so many times. But over-restricting doesn't work either for me. Uh, you know what I mean? In, in, in a way, it's worse. Nothing works for you because you don't want anything to work for you because you won't go to therapy. So, but these are, what I'm doing right now, I don't want to do any more on my channel. I don't want to justify as a larger person with health problems. I don't want to justify. As a super morally obese person who's going to die. There, I, I call me Grammarly because I fixed your sentence. To people, strangers, why I'm eating what I'm eating, you know? You're literally um, here, right now, right here, right now. Especially to a community of people who are also overweight, obese. I'm not. And don't ever show themselves. I love she just assumes that her entire community, like literally, Everyone who watches her, apparently, is obese. <laughs> apparently, everyone is just obese. But have a lot to say about what I'm eating. Well, she's definitely not upset, guys. My weight, yada, yada. It's, it's, it's a huge community of people who do that. And I don't want to justify you literally my are. choices. And you know? Here we are. Just because I'm a fat person online eating something that's not a salad. I don't want to do it. Oh, my um, God. What I do off camera with my life is totally up to me it's my choices yes it is i will not cry when your foot falls off because like you said it's your choice i don't know why you should act like a victim and think i should give a fuck about you when it's also the point of well it's my body my choice is it yes it is and it's my choice to then laugh at you. i don't have to feel sorry for you you don't get to say fuck you guys and your advice i'm just going to eat myself to death and then go but oh, i'm so sad feel sorry for me because i'm eating myself to death. It's like no um you don't have to watch it you know, I choose to. videos are not for everybody. Yep, they're not. At all. Yep. And for most people, so, actually. Hence why no one fucking watches your videos anymore. That's fine as well, you know. Um, is it? Is it? 
Really? When you have to pump the mic once a day because you're so fucking broke. When you have to beg people to get you for a cameo. Oh, but it's fine, you guys. You don't watch. Really? <laughs> there is an audience for it, obviously. Uh, no, there's not. And no, not just feeders. Because do you know how many mukbang channels there are? And if you go through those people's comments, there's not one sexual comment about. Have you read every comment on every mukbang channel that's ever existed? If you go through all of them, guys, you'll never find a single one. Well, Foodie must have a lot of free time in her hand to have been able to do that with all 20 trillion comments left on those videos. She's a fucking idiot. Yeah, there might not be a lot of them, but like, what do you, what do you, what, what, what does she think people are saying in public on their YouTube accounts? Like, yeah, you fuck, I pulled myself raw to this. Yeah. What are you, what are, what are you thinking they said? They might be like, oh my God, that was so great. That's, like, they could say something like that. That could have meant the KM 17 fucking times. They said, oh, that galt noise was great at that one. That doesn't mean it's sexual, you know? Like, it can be 100% sexual. It doesn't, they literally don't have to say, I am sitting here with my dick in my hand and pleasuring myself to that. Is that her bar for what sexual comment is? Feederism or whatever dumb people are saying about it just because it's a bigger person. You're literally, no, not just because you're a bigger person, because feeders like feeder shit. That's it. It doesn't even have to be a bigger person. Person eating, it has to be a feeder. No, it's not. Well, it is. <laughs> All right. It people is. People watch for different reasons. You literally have it stuck, like a microphone stuck in your throat so we can hear your muscle contractions and you stare at the camera and go, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I like chicken nuggets. Do you? Uh, I'm so thin today. You do that. You're 100% a feeder like target. You know, um, it just makes you hungry. It's who, the, um, who watches the makes it see the good food. It's pleasurable to. Uh, 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 you had to fucking abort that one pretty hard because you realize what type of pleasure you're talking about. Who, who watches Foodie Beauty eat anything? Goes, oh, that's made me hungry. I said before, she is like a dietary supplement. You watch her and you go like, well, never want to eat again. Food, especially if you can't eat it or if you are eating like what wendy's oh yeah that really exotic food of wendy's it's like a social thing you know like i don't have to explain what bonds people you know. literally are trying to write fucking not. it's a social thing you don't even talk during them what's the social thing i would think my girlfriend's gonna break up with me and me and her sat opposite and she goes what what um what chicken nuggets do you like the most if she said it like that that fucking bored i would think she hates me and what they are i've talked about this many times but that's why i'm doing them because for me it's content that's fun there's no drama um i think well, drama is worse for my health clearly than a cheeseburger is. at this point honestly you I well it's not because you're the one going to die from the cheeseburger so it's literally not you can avoid drama by going to the park what, why is your idea? It's like, well, it has to be mukbang or drama. It's like, well, you could go to a park, you could go to a gym, you could go swim, you could do anything. The only drama that exists is the drama you seek out. Because if FFG is over there in Canada making a video and you decide to go and watch it, even through someone who is apparently on your side and you're watching it because you want to get your ego stroked, that's still you seeking out the fucking drama. There's no drama around you. You're the one who goes and finds it. Underestimate how... how um much that can affect your health it you know she really, really she really has been clinging to this forever that's like well actually people who are negative and like criticize me online they're actually less healthy than me because uh being negative uh, it kills you yeah that is literally her fucking claim i don't realize that and i don't want to have a dark energy on bro have you ever fucking met you <laughs> online with that kind of drama have you ever met you and hatred and have you ever met you have you ever met like you totally total total negative vibes like she I, is like remember she is raging here about not raging <laughs> she is genuinely raging and upset here and trying to twist the knife whilst talking about how she doesn't do this thing and avoids this stuff i just don't want it in my life okay then so why bring it into it um, I built my channel on mukbangs. You didn't. Uh, at first, anyways, and I, I always ate to some degree on camera. You're 500 pounds, I know, you just always eat. That is your life, you literally just always eat. To maintain 500 pounds, you must always fucking eat, bro. You didn't build your channel on mukbangs, you built it on the weird, creepy stories you would say during the mukbang. No one sat there and was like, oh my god, there's a woman eating chips! Fuck yeah, guys! They sat there and watched you go like, I remember this time I shitted myself and threw up at the same time, and I was wearing a G-string and sprayed everywhere. That's what people think about when they think about you. Know that, do you remember that time she had that lasagna? Oh, iconic. And, you know, um, I enjoy doing them. 
So you're 500 points. I know that's that. Um, so uh, there. The that's why I want to do it. It's the type of content that. If you're um, gonna... What is? Excuse me. What is with you? I want to do it. It's the type of content that. Um. What the fuck is with her recently? She's gurgling. She's blurping. She's blooping around the fucking place. What is coming out of you, girl? Jeez, I hope you're wearing a nappy. Excuse me. Doesn't involve me sharing my life because I don't want to do that anymore. I want private, complete privacy. At first, when Fantastic. I was doing mukbangs in the past, I had... Bro, the problem is you can't do that because you love attention. You love people praising you. You love people talking about you. That is all you care about in life. More than money, more than cheeseburger. You are addicted to attention. So that is why you go back. To She's already done a live stream since where she unironically immediately just talked about herself. Loved being an open book. I love sharing everything. And, you and still now do. my feelings have changed about that. Um, so... Where did the no editing go? <laughs> so what what happened there? Did she actually like finally just like shit herself? Did her body finally give in and just totally release there? Why was there an actual jump cut? Oh, where was I? Oh yeah, I'm oh gone. she's sniffing her fingers afterwards because she gotta get a wee a wee bit of the scent there. So that's why uh, I do them. That's what I want to do. I want to do food content. Um, I love she actually said. Where was I? Oh yes, mukbangs, guys. It's like uh, yep, that's literally all you've talked about for thirteen minutes now. Of course, when I travel, I'm going to travel. Okay. Do travel vlogs, like. Like what? Regarding the food in the different countries. You didn't even do that in Thailand. <laughs> you didn't even and do that in on Thailand. And channel, channel, we're going to do. Channel. Um, travel vlogs. You don't even look like you believe that. This is the face of a woman who is firstly totally symmetrical. That eyeball is twice the size of this fucking eyeball here. This is the woman who is out here genuinely thinking this shit is real. What is actually wrong with her fucking face here look at this shit this is actually freaky like i'm just sorry I'm just, spud bud's coming up again look at this shit look at the look at the balance okay i'm gonna touch the ear to the tip i'm gonna touch the ear to the nose tip okay so we're right here we're on this side of the nose for her cheek there let's flip him around here so we're gonna go and look how much further it is we're on this side of the nose on the other face and now we're all the way over here. Holy actual shit, bro. You are massive. So you can hang on this side of the, of the screen for once. That's going to be really creepy for anyone who just clicks ahead. It's like, why did he move? He looks really weird. He looks weird, Mer, doesn't he? <laughs> Sorry, let's go. And what else? You know, um, go out sometimes around here, show you different food. You know, like go out sometimes. F oh my God. Imagine talking about this country that you love so much. Oh my God, the vibes, guys. That shit. I was like, you know, we'll go out. You know, some sometimes what is wrong with your face i'm sorry i can't stop looking at it now it is like the filter is only applied to one side of her face at the minute she is horrendous looking like she is uh, she is inhuman looking she is proper sloth from the goonies full-on shovel face like holy fuck bro this is and stuff like that and in between that just mukbangs at home like you know um that's basically just what I want to do right now. Dang. I don't want to come on here and explain why I'm eating a cheeseburger. 13 minutes I don't in, boys. I want to come here and explain my weight, loss, or gain, or whatever the heck. Or non-existent. Um, and be like, I gained five. I, I gained half a kilo this week. I give five uh, half a kilo. I love even during this bit where she's like so above and doesn't care anymore. She realized that she was accidentally about to say she gained fucking five pounds. I was like, oh no, I can't actually say that because that just seems like a lot. Oh, point. Five, just she actually had to reduce it. That is how triggered she is, even by the idea of admitting shit like this. Guys, no, I don't want it, and I don't want to. Cringe. You know, also go balls to the wall and uh, super cause... strict on a diet. It's because you can't. And <sighs> oh my god, um, get, get, find a point somewhere in that no. fucking left cheek of yours. Go digging. Find your fucking point. We have nine minutes to go or something. Still, hi. No, I don't want to do it, and and just. I don't enjoy doing that content whatsoever. I don't enjoy it. So what content. Um, yeah. Really? Because you always claim that you do anytime you do dieting content. No one is asking for dieting content from you. Literally no one. Yeah. Judge me all you want for that. But for me, there's just no way. There's just no way. I know. No I can way. see you. I know you can't I don't diet. Enjoy it. it depresses me even more. Aww. It makes me feel like losing weight and getting healthy is like a punishment. It feels like a punishment when I do that. What? Hey guys, getting healthy and losing weight and not dying. It feels like a punishment. Why? Oh, because FFG laughs at me because, fuck, I, I bought too many aubergines. Then don't watch FFG laugh at you for buying too many aubergines. Or buy less aubergines. One of the two. 
So, yeah. I mean, Good look point. at it this way. I want to just oh, go back to, to learn how to be like a normal person. Like, look at someone like... Yeah, be like a normal person. You're like a 500-pound woman dying of super diabetes who eats Wendy's online. You know, a normal person. <laughs> what? It's a law. They don't, they don't have to count calories. They don't have to worry about, you know, they just... It's because he doesn't exist. That's why he doesn't have to count calories. They just listen to their He's normal hunger cues, I guess. I don't know. But I know for someone like me, it's different. I have to... Maybe... Well, no, no, you don't. You can just tell yourself not to eat. That was really... Some, you don't have to oh, wait and just base it off your normal hunger cues. You're someone who has apparently been dieting, like, on YouTube at minimum for eight years at this point. You should know how to diet at this point. You should know what about calories. You should be able to eyeball a fucking egg and be like, 71.3 calories. You should be able to base it off your head with the amount of experience you have in dieting. That should be easy for you. You're the one who just feels it over and over and over again and then really blames everyone else. And I guess are now jealous of Salah because he doesn't have to like measure out his food. Well, you don't measure out your food either. So the reset and get there or whatever. Well, you won't. But I love her idea of getting fit. It's just, I just guess I'll just like reset and just, you know, just stop being addicted to food. It's like, oh, I'm sure that'll just work after all these years. Anyway, I don't even know why I'm going down that road. But I don't, I think you're annoyed it's like about a it? core of punishment. You know, I, I don't want to do that. So it's not, uh, God, imagine being this fucking entitled, bro, that you're seriously like, guys, it feels like a chore and it's like difficult for me to like restrict myself in any way. So I'm just not going to. It's like, yeah, dieting and exercising, especially when you're starting from such a low point, is hard. Of course it is. It gets easier over time. You just need willpower. It's like, nah, I'll just die. It's like, all right. That's up to you. I'm not going to feel bad for you, though. That's just, I, you know, it's, I've changed my mind. Um, yeah, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> so, wow. you know, I, I, I don't care if you judge me for that. It's well, for I do. my life choices. Whatever. Well, you're literally restricting everything about you online because you're so triggered by people judging you. But also don't care. That makes sense to me. Whatever. It's, it is what it is. That's just how I'm happier. Just not. Guys, I'm just like so unbothered. Now, let me go on for another eight minutes about how unbothered I am. And then I not tell you anything about my life anymore because of all you evil bastards that I'm also not bothered by. Um, doing that. Not, not dieting. Oh my God. Word. Get to your so, fucking point, bro. Um, 1.5 speed. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is so fucking repetitive. That's why I'm doing it. Yep, dying. And yes. that's all I guess I have to say about it. Yep. So, oh, um, seven more minutes. <laughs> I don't think that I'll ever want to go back to opening up about my life because well, we'll, I don't we'll enjoy see. it anymore. Like uh, something has shifted inside me where I don't want to go back to Canada. Rip. Well, I actually think that you would love to open up about your life. I think that you're tentative about it because you know you will just get laughed at. Because even your like massive slam dunk go off to FFG blew up in your face to a massive degree. That's why you don't want to do it. Because you realize that you lose every single time. Because you are, think you're incredible. You want people to be like, oh my God, Chantel, yeah, you did a poo today. Congratulations. You want someone to praise you for the bare minimum. You want to be able to praise you because you mopped your kitchen floor. That's how fucking lunatic you are. But that's why you can't share anything about your life anymore. Because the tiniest things in your life are massive. You think... Hoovering is like a huge accomplishment that people should give you a fucking parade for. And then when you come to the real world, it goes, hey guys, look, I hoovered. Everyone's like, yeah. Did you think that's special? Are you fucking stupid? And then you get upset about that because people aren't praising you. That's why you don't want to share shit anymore because you don't have anything to share. If you thought, if you lost 50 kilograms, I guarantee you'd be fucking holding a parade for yourself. If you actually did something worth sharing, like go going on holiday again, because you're obviously going to, you've already alluded to that. Once you have something you think you can flex about, you 100% want to share. You just want to share like you're nothing you do every day because people are laughing at you because you do nothing every day. Pop the hijab like people think I'm going to do. People oh still my God, think... we're back to rep repeating points. I'm skipping until we get something new. I think to a degree, we're all addicted to some kind of food, especially if you if you like junk food and you eat it every day. Stop, try stopping it cold turkey. It's hard. It's not like, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just not like everyone is obviously built different when it comes to that stuff, but it's just, it's just not like when I, when I decided Last second, when I hit 5K and I was thinking, oh, I need to do a 5K special. Bam. I did the five-day water fast. No problem. Like, it's not that hard for a lot of people to just be like, oh, I'm not going to eat a certain type of food 
or whatever, you know? Like, Foodie just is so delusional. She actually thinks like, everyone is unironically like her. Um, but with the binge eating and all that, um, I actually haven't been binge eating. So something is, <laughs> is working, okay? So I don't know if it's that, you know. Okay. Just, just okay. Pinky promise, guys. Just trust me. Just trust me, guys. I haven't, like, binge eating or anything like that. Yeah, guys, I told you I'm never going to talk about, like, my struggles or anything like that again. But just so you know, I'm also just not binge eating again. Well, glad that you didn't even make it out of this video before you start talking about your personal life again. And it clearly made up thing. Bro, you ate three full fucking mukbangs today alone in this fucking outfit. Stop it. Stop. Get some help. Okay, I'm skipping all the way to the end here. It is the same point, just over and over and over again. Uh, she's moved on from her past. She doesn't understand why everyone's so obsessed with it. She is totally a different person now. She's never gone back to Canada. She's not ripping off her hijab. She said that like three more times. Uh, yeah, it was really, really, it got, it got really, really dull. And I, I feel like I was really repeating myself and I don't really like doing that. So I tried to just go like, all right, jump ahead. Uh, yep. Pretty bad. My favorite part was when she just randomly, though, said that she's uh, a foodie because she loves food, guys. I love food so much, guys. I love the culture of food. I love food. That's why I love food. It's not because she's a big fatty or anything like that. Binge eater or anything like that. It's her comfort or anything like that. She's an amazing cook because she can make stuff that she likes. It's like, bro, you're like King Cobra. You like everything. So you're not a good cook. You just like all food. There's no food that you do not like. You can literally eat anything because you're addicted to food. It doesn't mean you're a foodie. It doesn't mean you like the culture of food. I always remember when people say make this claim that it's like, oh, well, I'm fat because I'm a foodie. It's like, do you remember that episode of House? There's this like really super morbidly obese guy and he's really upset that House kept trying to diagnose him as having like weight related issues. And he was like, nope, my issue, right? I fainted is not food related. So if you're just going to talk about my weight, I am leaving this hospital. And he pretty much said, I am happy with my life. I am not depressed. I just like good food and I like eating. And he gets and he makes his food himself or you get some really nice restaurants that is like being like an actual fat person who is like a foodie Chantel when she's eating Wendy's going I'm a foodie guys it's fucking Wendy's bro Wings of Redemption eats that shit fucking move on all right that's gonna be it guys have a good take care of yourselves bye bye